Wait! You may be wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Critic and Fan, and we are here reviewing Deadpool starring Ryan Reynolds. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I've been looking forward to this movie. Ever since that test footage came out about, what, maybe like a year and a half ago, we saw potentially what Deadpool could be in all of his glory. And, you know, I remember watching Wolverine Origins, I forgot how many years ago that was, but I remember like the first 10, 15 minutes of that movie, Ryan Reynolds killed it as Deadpool. I mean, he wasn't in the uniform that we know him to be in, but I mean, he, he still had that, you know, that quirky attitude. He still had that sarcasticness about him. And he just had quick one-liners in that film that I was just like, oh, wow, you know, this could be the Deadpool that, I will, I, that I've known and loved. And then in Wolverine Origins, they basically sewed his mouth shut and he couldn't be what he was meant to be. I remember being so disappointed in that because that was not the Deadpool that I remember or what I wanted. And so now all these years later, we finally get Deadpool. And it is and awesome. Yes. I think this is like one of the best Marvel Fox films that has ever come out. I mean... Maybe just best Marvel film in general. Not, yeah. not the best, what, for sure one of the best ones. I'm saying that the Fox ones in general, like all those, I think it's way better than they've done before. And I think, you know, being open and free to do whatever they, they want to with the rated R. Like, yeah, it makes a huge difference for a character like Deadpool, who you're supposed to go really crazy with. I mean, that's what it is. It's Deadpool. Basically, the story is a revenge story, a love story, save the girl story. That's all it is, basically. But it's not the story that's good. It's how they execute everything. It's just, it's awesome. First off, in the opening credits of this movie, you know right away what you're getting into. I can't spoil it, but <laughs> in the credits, I want to... I want to spoil it so bad because it's so good, but basically in the opening credits, how you normally see credits in the movies, they make fun of that in the opening credits, and it's just comedy gold. And right when you see the opening credits, you're just like, wow, this is going to be something totally different. And from then on, you're just shoehorned into possibly one of the greatest comedies, I'd probably, probably one of the greatest comedies in the past year or so, maybe. Best one all year so far. <laughs> well, it's just barely February, but yeah. Well, for sure, this 2016 movie season is... You know, it, it set the bar very high for comedy movies this year so far. And like, it's not just Deadpool is great. It's like they have other X Men in it. The the girl Megatomic, Mega Super Mega, the girl X Men and Colossus. It's much easier. Just and <laughs> Colossus is great. Like this is the Colossus from like the '90s, the animated series from the '90s. He's great. He has a Russian accent. Finally, he's big. He's like he's monstrous. It's how Colossus should have been done. Nothing wrong with the way they done it before, but I think this is just better. It's the one I remember growing up watching from X-Men. And he basically plays this character who is just trying to recruit Deadpool like countless times trying to be an X-Men. No, that's and not Colossus. Oh yeah, that's right. My bad. Yes, go, yes, go, go yes, yes, yes. I was right. I was right. right. You, it, it's funny because you realize that Deadpool will make a very horrible X-Men, but Colossus just sees something. He just sees potential in Deadpool and just keeps trying to enlist him. And of course, the girl character, the teenage character, she's just, you know, that moody teenager. She's always tweeting all the time, basically giving Deadpool a bunch of sarcastic remarks. And she was great too. All the action scenes that she was in, she can kick some serious butt. The action in this movie, it, it was great. I, like, everyone was cheering, clapping, and, you know, we're in awe the whole time. Is, is that how you do it? In awe? In awe? Yeah, in awe, like when they're like, <sighs> like, ah, or like, <sighs> yes. That's ah. <sighs> yes. I got totally weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing movie, and they have, like, tons of references to Marvel and DC. Well, the thing about Deadpool is that he's a character that knows he is a comic book character, and, you know, it's funny because I'll, I never realized how much I had to explain Deadpool to people because not, apparently, from what I've seen so far, not that many, pe not that many people are actually aware. Maybe they know the, who the character, what the character looks like, but they don't really know what he does. And so I had to explain to them, yeah, this is a character that knows he's in a comic book and he breaks the fourth wall a lot. And when he does, it's, 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 very, it's very refreshing because you're just so not used to that in all these past Marvel films and even DC films. And when he breaks the fourth wall, he always has this joke that makes you just laugh and roll with it. The humor, I just love how the humor is just so meta. He makes fun of his Green Lantern stint. He makes fun of his past Wolverine stint. And he even makes fun of the studio. Like, how ball... <laughs> like... <laughs> Did he say how ballsy? <laughs> I, yeah, it's, it's true. It's true. Like how can okay, find like how crazy it is to make fun of the studio that you're actually that is making your movie. But when he makes when he makes these jokes, it works so much, and the audience is just rolling. They were just laughing so hard, I was dying laughing. So the love interest in this movie for Deadpool's character is a girl named Vanessa, and 
this storyline actually did work. I was kind of hesitant at first. I was like, oh, love story. All right, we'll see how it go, how they go with this. But no, like, she's a character that she was written very well. She's very sarcastic. And she's written in a way where when her and Deadpool talk to each other, they're back and forth. It works for me. Okay, so this movie is rated R. And it's not like, oh, rated R, but, you know, we're just going to make it as close to PG-13 as possible. Like, no, this is a full <laughs> R movie. This is... Like, I can't really spoil a lot of what happens in this movie, but basically, guys get their heads chopped off, there's blood, there's there's a lot of vulgarity, there's a lot of vulgar stuff. You know, for the type of character that Deadpool is, I'm actually happy that Marvel and Fox decided to make this an R-rated movie, because the things that he has to say, it wouldn't have worked if it was a PG-13 movie. And this movie works so well that I think the studios are going to realize, well, like, this movie can work being rated R, because I would have loved to have seen a rated R Wolverine movie. You know, Marvel has kind of a, a rough history of just having pretty okay villains. The villain that they have in this movie, Ajax, he's just some regular good-looking British guy, but it works for the movie. Everything in this movie, I think, works. Yeah. For me, it works. And who cares if he's just some British dude? He's still an awesome villain. Yeah, the fight scenes with him and Deadpool, on par, probably one of the best fighting sequences I've seen in a while. Because it's good old-fashioned sword-to-sword action, and it just blew my mind away of how well they executed these fight scenes against the two. So guys, a recommendation is to really, you guys gotta see this movie in theaters. The soonest that you can, please go out there and watch this movie. Support this movie, because the more this movie becomes successful, the more we'll get more movies like this, and this is what we need. It's just a breath of fresh air from these past movies that we've been, we've been getting lately. It really sets the bar up for superhero movies, and I don't know how Batman v Superman's gonna go out, I don't know how Suicide Squad's gonna go out, but they have some competition with this movie. Now, to be fair, this movie isn't for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think it should be. If you don't like it, there's something probably wrong with you, but be like, this isn't your typical Marvel movie, or superhero movie in general. You know, it won't be all camp, well, it is a little campy, but... It is campy. This be more like when going, like, watch the trailer before you go see it, so you know what you're getting into. Yeah, I, I've texted a couple of friends that said they were gonna go watch it, and I was like, hey, just to let you know, it's very violent, very vulgar, whatever, and they ended up not watching it because that was you something... You stopped people from watching it? Well, no, 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 I, I, I told them, I, I let them know what they were getting into, and they chose themselves to not watch it. I cared about that. I, I go watch it. Even yeah. if, like, even if you're skeptical, go watch this movie. <laughs> it is awesome. That's why he's the fan side of this, uh, <laughs> critic and fan duo. This guy. He's so passionate about this movie, yeah. Dude, it's a great movie! It's a great movie. Yeah, go see it in theaters. Alright guys, that's our review of Deadpool. Who is your favorite superhero? Let us know in the comments below. It could be Deadpool, Wolverine, whatever. It can be a DC Marvel villain, whatever. Let us know in the comment section below. And if you guys like what you guys see here, please subscribe below. And comment and hate on this dude for hating on the movie. No! So his friends. <laughs> no! That's messed up. I was watching out for them. No, no. I'm a good friend. He's a bad friend.